we are incorporating the fact that you don't have to dig here and put it into the concrete. We are going to give pre-dug pre holes for so you can put your bamboo in there, bamboo, stick or whatever. So we are discussing with the hoarding guys to see what is the diameter of the hoarding. So it's very interesting. I mean, uh, you can eliminate. I I'm sure you, you know, CM route, they'll put it no matter what, they'll put it like, like this. You can't do much. But in other areas, at least we'll be able to deal with it. So point is, again, architects. Mm. Unless the corporation starts doing something with architect, do a pilot. For example, all this happened because six years ago, we did 500 meters of footpath. I can show you, there's some pictures there. We didn't do anything. Two and a half years, three years, we struggled. Because first election will come, then the commissioner will change, then the engineer changes, then the corporation, like, uh, you know, everybody. Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. So, how do you decide where to have freedom codes? In Bollard's. Illa. So, see, for example, you know that, like Bollard, Bollard, we said every so many meters there will be Bollard. Every so many meters there will be dustbin. Yeah? So, we haven't done that yet, but that's part of the contractor's job. Uh, idea is you could do it every 10 meters, you know. So 10 meter, you put a thing here, he's not going to put another one there. If he wants, he can put it, you know. We are not saying don't put, put. All we are saying is, look, if you want to put, don't destroy the footpath, you know. So that's all we're doing. True, that's what I'm saying. So when you, when you give a, no, no, that's what I'm saying. So what we're saying is that we are giving, we are going to give pre-dug holes. We haven't decided that. So initially, we said we will do it here. Because here, they'll be like this. And there's a poster like this. And here, they put up, you know, tied to the wall or something. Yeah. So what you need is a hole here in the water table. So in the water table, we will give holes. Or somewhere like that. So that we, we, that's what we are talking to the guy. There. To put the funnel and all that, they will take it. Other, up to a point, you know. We are, we are worried about this uh, political party stuff, you know. But, you know, one thing interesting is that now, one thing interesting is that once you do concrete, it's very difficult for them to destroy. See, what they're doing is when you have granites, yeah, they, they'll do that. Uh, of course, they can destroy concrete also, but it's easier to fix. See, worse come to worse, maintenance. You know? Ah, that brings me, maintenance. Okay, so as usual, we've heard that story also. Sir, you'll do footpath and all. Who will maintain? You know? Tomorrow, somebody will come and dig it up. So what we have tried, uh, corporation is doing this, and we have wrote the MOU and all, very simple. What we said was, uh, let some uh, corporation will give a little ad because the uh, Supreme Court, High Court has uh, uh, you know, said no to advertisements and all that. So each road can be taken up by a company or a corporation or a builder or whatever. Yeah? So the two things happen. One, corporation will do the capital cost. So if some big digging happens, corporation will do the fixing, corporation will put the new footpath and all that. The daily maintenance, and we actually wrote the MOU. We, were very, we, want, we looked at it from a corporation's point of view. They will clean the median with water once a week. They will remove the posters uh, from the wall. If there's a statue, they will clean the statue, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, yeah, that will be done by the company or the NGO, whatever. And uh, for that, they will get a little plaque on the side. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, once you're talking about the cutout and the banners, and most of the time in Chennai, what it is happening, most of the banners are you know milked. You know, as we come, the banners will be they huh. most of the corporations. No, no. No, but the point is that, you know, what, what we're saying is, if it is not milk, it's somebody will urinate. If it's not urination, somebody will go to bathroom. You know, something will be there. Yeah. No, that has come to the notice of the CMC and uh, Chennai Corporation and it is there. So, you should notice also removing the banners, you know, they're putting Yes, ma'am, but, but, the, the, no, but, the, but the problem is this, no. It's easy for a court or an NGO like ours to say, corporation should do this, corporation remove, corporation something. <laughs> Problem what we realize, realistically speaking, corporation staff is, has no time. You know, you, if you want to remove one vendor, you have to go through all your process. You have to we fight with them. In Bangalore, we might not face it. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. But anyway, we were practical. What we are saying is that unless, <laughs> everything is solved here. <laughs> no, all, all we are saying is that let's be practical. So for example, one of the things we are doing is we are helping the corporation come up with a Facebook and a corporation has its own website. Yeah. So, see, today, I don't want to confront with this vendor. Let's assume he's encroaching. So the idea is that I'm supposed to complain, I'm supposed to, as a citizen, I don't want to deal with them. Yeah? So what traffic police has done, very nice job, is if you put a picture of some violation, they immediately, in Facebook, they immediately come and do something. So same thing we're trying to do for the corporation website. 
So if I'm a resident, I take a picture, I post it, I complain. But that is visible to the whole world. Now it becomes a public problem, not a problem between him and me. Yeah? So we are, we are saying some people like to confront encroachers. I don't want to. I mean, I, I, I don't want to and I have other things to do in life. I don't want to go fight with this guy. My point is, we are trying to see that where is the weakness in the system, let's fix it practically. That's all I'm saying. You know? Theoretically, a yeah, lot of things can be done. But anyway, a lot of good things happening. Um, I, I think I will almost finish then. We are doing a lot of other things. But one of the things I, I suspect that uh, I think um, uh, Bangalore is already doing, one of the things you may want to do, as uh, since every department is here, we, this is actually the Ashok Nagar uh, metro station. So there is something called a Kumta, that is the Chennai Unified Metropolitan Transport Authority. And I can pretty proudly say that I think Chennai one is actually the only one that is functioning. Meaning they, every state passes the bill and nothing actually happens. Here monthly there is a work sh working group on uh, multimodal integration. How do you integrate all the various modes? There's another working gr group on non-motorized transport, pedestrian, cycling, all that. Non-motorized transportation is under the corporation commissioner. Every month it meets. We are part of that. Yeah? And that's why most of these uh, other things are happening. I mean, amazing things happening. This one, for example, what we did, uh, this was about four years ago, three years ago. We took a metro station, Wadabani metro station. We got architects, etc., to study 200 meter radius, 500 meter radius, 2 kilometer radius, and ask ourselves, if you are in Hong Kong, or if you are in Singapore, what would you find when you come out of the metro station? You'll have a nice footpath, there'll be auto stand, there'll be pickup drop off, all that, no, everything will be designed. Then if you go, if I am two kilometers away from the metro, I can't walk all the way to metro in the hot sun in Chennai, it's super hot. So can we have feeder system, you know? If I, I, I should know there's a sign that says, if I stand here every 10 minutes, there's a feeder will come and pick me up. Point is, if you want to reduce car and congestion, you have to do all this stuff, you have to integrate. But the beauty is that, uh, this is not Vadabarni, but assume this is Vadabarni, this road belongs to highway, this bridge probably belongs to PWD. This is metro. Uh, obviously, the bus belongs to MTC. The road behind, which is very narrow and unnavigable, is belong to corporation. But again, believe it or not, because of this study and recommendations, etc., right now, corporation is budgeting, improving the roads behind the metro station so that the feeder, cycle, etc., can go. Yeah? And uh, um, cycle stand, etc. And uh, the other thing the mayor has announced is that out of the 400 roads, wherever possible, not everywhere is possible, they're going to do try and do cycle tracks. So that uh, cycle sharing is coming. In fact, uh, the tender is up on the web. So the idea is that when you come out of the metro, like in Guangzhou, China and all, when you come out of the metro, you just want to go here and come back. You, you don't want to take a big car and go around or something. So there are cycles available for rent, like in France and so on. Obviously, this has to be run by a private company, you know, it has, because it's very difficult to run it. Somebody will steal it, etc., etc. It's practical everywhere that happens. But if you think in, a, in, in an integrated manner, Chennai Corporation today is actually uh, almost is tendering for cycle sh sharing. Uh, cycle tracks are being designed with the roads. Uh, after it's amazing. I, mean, I can't even believe uh, that I'm saying this. And very importantly, what is happening is that uh, highway is uh, studying just like those pictures I showed you. Highway is studying this highway road in front of. Uh, uh, in front of the uh, metro station. Corporation is studying its own roads and actually designing, redesigning it so that uh, when the metro runs, it will look like a nice place, you know, at least around the metro station, at least as far as traffic and transportation is concerned. Uh, this, uh, just one more slide I'll show you. Um, this is, if uh, it, it's in tendering stage, so I can show you, it's no longer fantasy. Um, How do you do full screen? This one, yeah? Uh, this has taken us two, three years, by the way. Uh, where is the clicker? Ah, there it is. No, no, the, the, uh, okay. This is how Ponte Bazaar looks like today. It's, uh, they've removed the vendors, etc. So what we did was, we did a study of the area, yeah? And what we said was, uh, Ponte Bazaar has three sections. One is near the Panangal Park, then there's a middle section, then there is the Anasale section, towards Anasale. Three are very different category, very different characteristics. Yeah? So the near the Panganangal Park, uh, what our architects had uh, envisioned was complete pedestrianization. So this diagram you see was actually detailed by a Delhi uh, people who did Sabarmati River and all that. Asian Games, a lot of work and all that. Very, very good people. So the idea is that this road, which is now a thoroughfare, will get shut down 
there'll be cycle track there'll be uh, area and all that only buses are allowed to go through and the side roads get improved so that parking and all goes to the sides so imagine brigade road is shut down you know parking is happening around but uh, not in this place uh, if you see that side is parangal park if you uh, and uh, there is a parking structure coming earlier it was two different projects this was one project that was one project amazingly corporation got both sides together and they are redesigning the whole thing so that the parking is a little bit below and to the side so that the view of the park is not destroyed because earlier it was right in front of the you know park uh, so this is almost at the tendering stage so it's no longer fantasy if i told you two years ago they will think it's fantasy it's actually almost there i mean we had a stakeholder meeting and they gave us a standing ovation to the corporation so, in this one in this one sure in this one see uh, in this one if you uh, the details are not available there is everything is being considered there's a water drainage etc so uh, th th this project basically says okay where should be the drain be where should be the utility be and so on so uh, this is the other side of it. i mean there's another view of it so the idea is that only buses will go through and then idea is that the shopkeepers can run this uh, airtel or whatever, whatever that mini electric you know for people to go up and down you know uh, electric vehicle or something like that the idea is to create public spaces because see, look at chennai uh, other than malls where can i take my children you know you can't go anywhere you know other than you can go into the mall uh, go round and round and then go home you know so you need to create public of course we have a beach which is nice you know uh, beach is good i mean, I, I, i love That's chennai so <laughs> no, no, I'm not joking. I'm but it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, you know. Uh, so this is the other, the other section. So for example, this is the th this is the second section. This is the third section. So here, for example, you have service road, etc. Today it's like a gigantic road. So there'll be service road because the, the what we studied was that the other other section there is access from the back. Here there is no access for the shop from the back. So you have to give them service road. So a lot of thought has gone into this. the other section is just a regular road but with great footpath etc etc you know um, similarly um, this is just all sections ah mylapur yes ma'am uh, so because i was talking about how do you manage the retailers because they're all, they all gone they're no, not because of us <laughs> <laughs> not because that's what i'm saying so so yeah so imagine this becomes pedestrianized see a, a good example of this is how we convinced earlier was you know about times square yeah times square was less like pony bazaar commercial whatever uh, heavy traffic they last 3 years or something i had a picture somewhere uh, they have completely pedestrianized it meaning you can actually sit in the middle of the road and have chai you know beautiful uh, and amazingly rentals around times square went up by 70% so usually people will say sir if you do stop cars you know our business will get destroyed just the opposite more pedestrian more people walking more tourists coming more business for you yeah it is initially self be problem obviously it's not that simple you know because suddenly cars are disappearing so what i am saying is that like in the closed section so let's assume this is arunas bhavan yeah there are side roads so in this project we are trying to fix all those side roads so today is two way so it's total chaos so you can make it one way take the extra space give parking give foot path etc etc so that uh, traffic is managed these shops you can park and then walk like this you know and take the electric car go up and down and all that at least well, amazingly this is about to be tendered you know uh, of course we have the same boq delhi boq is different from chennai boq so we go round and round this stone is uh, delhi stone that is uh, chennai stone we don't have uh, quantity so we go back and forth back and forth it's fun but it's getting somewhere you know ah by the way uh, this is uh, yes Yes, yeah. Five minutes, I'll be done no because they seem to be interested. <laughs> this is Mylapur. Here we can't do uh, like this is the Mylapur tank. Yeah, here police actually wanted to do pedestrianisation. So they said shut it down. You know, we said that's not practical because there are for traffic reason. In fact, in Pondi Bazaar, it is the police. We were cautious. We were giving two cuts like this. The police guy said, "Why? I have to put a constable there, and he has to keep doing like this all day long." He said, "No, remove it." You know, so they remove. We actually removed it based on the traffic police thing. here also same thing we're going to fix footpath etc etc in this area this becomes pedestrianized if we, today it's like this it's full of autos and you know parking and all that all gets uh, at least the temple gets shut down you know 
Um, I'll go through this. This is Besanagar. Today, if you go to Besanagar, it's almost like this. Believe it or not. Major headache, you know. Every resident almost beat us up in the beginning. Then the corporation had a public participation. Again, they gave us a standing ovation. Because, because they don't, see, the problem is uh, government agencies are very bad at communication. Politicians are good at communication. But when you, corporation does a good job like this, corporation knows how to buy cement, they know how to buy bollard, all that is good. Telling public, look, wonderful stuff is coming, it's very difficult, you know. Mm -hmm. So what happens, contractor comes and digs in front of his uh, road one day. Then there is RD, party, Christmas, uh, New Year, uh, workers gone to Dindicals, uh, cement price gone up, sand price uh, not available. So what does this house guys think? Some idiot has come and dug up my in front of my house. I can't take my car out. Sometimes they dig and put the curb and go. Amazing. I, 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 you can't invent uh, things like this. So house owner comes in the morning, he sees a wall in front of his house. 